What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So today we're out here, we got a 2000 F350 with a 7.3 diesel in it. So today what we're gonna be testing, we're gonna be testing the factory air filter against the Wix conical filter. So this should really be a good test. So let me show you what this truck's got. This is a truck that's got, I just recently purchased it. It has about 187,000 miles on it. Right now it has a factory air filter in it. It says k &M, but that's not actually in there now. It has a Fram from Walmart, I think it was. So it's got a factory air filter. It does have a TS Performance six position chip. So we're gonna be running it on the 75 horsepower tune. It's got factory exhaust on it. And as far as I can tell, the rest of the motor, everything else is factory. So what we're gonna be testing today is we're gonna see how much boost increase we can get, if any, from going from the factory air box with a factory style filter to this big conical filter. That thing is massive. Now, I had one on my excursion and it worked really good, but I never compared it. I didn't have a way to read the boost. Let's see if we can see it on the boost gauge and the back pressure. We're gonna see if it's any better. So this is the part number that we're gonna be using. So we're gonna try it, we're gonna see. All right, let's go make a test run down the road real fast. Like I said, we're gonna be in this, the 75 horsepower tune on the TS flip chip, maybe 50 or 60 miles per hour. And then we're gonna floor it and see what we got. Let's go take a test ride real quick. All right, guys, well, here we go. We're just cruising right now. And shout out to my boy, Phil Billy TV. He had this edge monitor laying around in the garage so he sent it out to me so we could take a look at some of this stuff and see what it does okay so here's the 75 horsepower tune ts performance and you can see the mile per hour we're just gonna see what kind of boost we make See, it was nice and quiet. You hear the turbo hum in just a little bit, but it wasn't bad. And we'll do a backup test to see if all that was accurate. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do pull number two, stock air filter. So 10, 11 pounds of boost. Now you can't see behind me, but there is some decent black smoke back there. So I'm thinking we're gonna get a little bit of boost increase from putting a better flow and air filter on it. Let's see. All right guys, well hopefully this will be pretty easy. This is that Wix air filter. You got a Spectra four inch straight pipe. There's part number for that. And then Spectra clamps. All this come off of Amazon. <laughs> it was pretty cheap. I think it was like 50, 55 bucks total. So this should be pretty simple. Essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this box off. Of course, this has got a great big battery in it so that's uh, the cold air kit wouldn't work with this one anyway or i'd have to change this battery out so we're just going to put the regular filter on it should be pretty easy we're going to take this box off take the air filter out take the top of the box off and then use our little straight connector clamp it all together and we're going to go make another pass see what happens Right, guys well that is it this thing it fits kind of snug in there and this thing also it does have an air intake temperature sensor and some people will actually drill a hole in this or drill a hole in the boot up here and stick it up there but i'm gonna put it right below the filter and that's gonna be a pretty accurate representation of the air that is is coming in um this thing may get smacked by the hood as well but i mean that's just one of those things uh, we might could slide it just a little bit more. I see what's hitting it. This little uh, clamp down here is hitting it. So we might uh, try to bend that out of the way real quick. And then we can get the filter down in there just a little bit further. But okay, let's take it down the road and see if it makes any difference. All right, guys. One thing, you can hear the turbo much more.
the turbo sounds really good. All right, let's get out here and make a test ride again. Same amount of boost. Sounds cooler though. Wow, I would have thought that it would have made a bunch more boost. Very interesting. Still smoking about the same. Not a ton, but some. Interesting. I would have thought we'd have picked up at least one or two pounds of boost. Alright, so now guys, I've got it on the stock tune on the computer on the setting. So let's see if it makes any less boost. Maybe I've got a mechanical issue. Interesting. Maybe the truck is, maybe there's something wrong with it. I figured it would make more boost, less boost than that with the factory setting. Maybe I've got a mechanical issue. Maybe the turbo is messed up or maybe, shoot, I don't know. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be doing. Interesting. I just want it to be consistent and have enough power to pull the race car to the track and not have any issues. So maybe 10 pounds of boost is all it needs. Maybe I just need to leave it where it's at. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Just changing the air filter on my truck made not a squat of difference. I thought it was going to really increase the boost, but it did not. So I may have another issue. There may be something mechanically wrong with the truck. It drives fine, it feels fine, it's not skipping, but it still is black smoking a little bit. So maybe there's something wrong with the turbo or maybe there's something wrong with the wastegate, the boost controller. I'm gonna dive into it and see if I can find anything. And if I do find anything, I'll let y'all know in a later video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. We'll see y'all soon. Later guys.